What is up you guys, it's Erin. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Today we are gonna put a bunch of new makeup on my face together, do a little bit of a get ready with me, and just get some first impressions on some products that I've really been needing to try. And yeah, I've been indecisive about what video to film today. So let's put some new makeup on together. We have uh, some new Pixie, some new uh, Urban Decay lippies, um, new Kaja shades of blush that they sent me. I have a new mascara that I haven't opened that I want to try and some beauty pie stuff that I haven't gotten around to trying and a cool mist from Mineral Air. So if that interests you, let's just get into the video. So just a heads up, I do have foundation on already if you're wondering. That is going to be a separate foundation review video, so I'm not going to tell you what it is. So I think that one's going to go up before this, so if you want to know what foundation it is and my thoughts, it's an exciting one, um, go ahead and click that video. But I think my skin looks really good, spoiler alert. I don't have a new concealer or anything, so I'm just going to apply some of the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Light Peach here. And just... I'm going to prime my eyes a little bit too and cover some blemishes. That was definitely a lighter coverage foundation that I was using. I should probably get you guys a little closer here. So that was um, definitely a lighter foundation that I was using. And so I want to put a little bit of concealer on. I'm being lazy today. I'm just going to prime my eyes with concealer. Usually I use my Urban Decay uh primer potion because it's something i can't live without if you haven't seen that video but it's 4 p.m i'm gonna walk charlie after this this makeup isn't gonna be on super long so i'm gonna throw on some brows with my anastasia brow definer also don't have a new brow product but like we have enough new stuff to try i've just been feeling a little bit like excited about PR but like a little overwhelmed like I want to do I'm more of a fan of uh like videos where I can give my full thoughts rather than watching first impressions because after watching a first impressions video I don't really know my full thoughts and you don't really know your full thoughts like it's entertaining to watch but like they're not necessarily helpful all the time like unless somebody knows whether they love a product right away or not which isn't usually the case usually it takes a little more testing out um i just you know it's not the most helpful so i like to more or less do videos when i have my full thoughts but you know i'm a full-time working nurse and i don't always have time for that so let's just you know get some first impressions together on some of these products i think that's okay and first impressions are fun i just i would rather have thoughts i would rather come to you with information rather than filming and be like eh, i like it do you like it and that just doesn't really help anyone my brows are done for the most part i'm not going to put any brow gel on right now uh because i want to finish the base first i think my skin's looking pretty nice but let's do some eyes. Uh, usually I would have done... I'm just all out of sorts today because I'm doing two videos. Usually I would have done eyes and then concealer. But we can always apply a little bit more concealer if we need to. So, Pixie sent a the biggest PR package I've ever received if you follow on Instagram or have seen that anywhere. This is the eyeshadow palette from the package. It is their Pixie uh, collab with Tina Young. Every year they come out with collabs with different creators, um, and she was one of the four that they collabed with. In this palette, they sent like a contour palette, a highlight palette, and like a lip and cheek cream color palette. And this um, eyeshadow palette definitely captured me the most and excited me the most. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do today. Nothing too crazy, but I am curious. I don't really like love big palettes anymore, but this one... It looks cute, you know, it's cute. So first of all, before I wreck it with my brush, let's just kind of like set everything down and lay a base with this kind of medium tone shade and a fluffy brush. The concealer's already creasing, that's why I like the e.l.f. primer potion better. 
but I just didn't feel like using it today. These shadows, I can say, are definitely like very lightly pressed, which I don't mind. It usually means that the shadow will be easy to blend, but you do get like a bunch of powder kick up in the pan. Uh, and they're definitely like more buildable, like not super pigmented right off the bat, which again, I don't, I don't mind at all because it makes for a shadow that is easier to work with. It's like a really pretty transition color for me personally in my skin tone. I don't want this to be super warm, so I'm going to go in with this more neutral brown shade and just kind of build it up like a typical eyeshadow look. That's pretty. I don't really talk about brushes, but this is um, one of my rougher brushes and I really love their brushes. This is the 15 brush. They're very luxurious texture, the nicest eyeshadow brushes I own for sure. Okay, that's looking nice so far, but let's test out the shimmers. The shimmers in here, like, don't look... They just don't look super impressive to me, like, let's see. Okay, here's a gold. Okay, okay. Let's test another one. This purpley one. They're definitely not the most buttery shadows I've ever used, but they're pretty. Like those two shades, they look pretty, right? If it would focus. Everything's looking lighter. Like after I swatch it, it looks a lot brighter. Let's do this kind of pinky shade because it, it looks a lot darker in the pan than it actually is. I'm just gonna apply that with my finger all over my lid. It's, it's pretty, but it's like nothing to write home about, you know? And usually like shimmer shades are pretty impactful with your finger. And these are, they're just okay for me, dog. Pixie makes nice like everyday shadows, but if, you know, if I want something with a little a little extra oomph, it's probably not going to be a pixie shadow, at least the ones I've tried. I'm going to take a little bit of this brown here and just kind of do a shadow liner and deepen up like the outer corner. So it's just what I do when I don't know what else to do. Like everything looks super dark and intense in the pan, but then when I apply it, just not that dark. Like, as you can see, that, that was like a really dark brown. It's just not translating that way. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know. It's not an eyeshadow palette. Like, for someone that has a ton of palettes, it's not one that I'm, like, going to be like, wow, I got to use that palette again. But, you know, maybe for every day, and if you wanted something with a ton of colors that wasn't, super out of your price range. I don't know, this is probably like 20 or 30 bucks I, if I had to guess. But I'm curious about this blue shade, this like blue shade here. It's very chalky feeling. Yeah, chalky. I don't know about that. I don't know if you're gonna get much from that. Okay, I'm gonna leave the eyes alone for now. Sorry if I seem negative, but I'm just, I'm just telling you what I would think if I, if the camera wasn't on. This is what I would think. So I'm just gonna kind of buff out the creases of my eye again. Then what should we do next? Let's test out, I have a cream blush and highlight. So Kaja, I have tried their cheeky stamps before. Kaja occasionally sends me things and this is their cheeky stamp in the shade 03 Bossy. I have the lightest, I've had the lightest shade for a while and really liked it, but it's very, very light pink. It's the first shade. And this is more of a peach, and I thought it would look good with this eye look. So, what you do, the bottom, the top, you take it, and then it's a little heart. I like to apply it 
higher than you think because cream blush when you apply it it inevitably blends downward and you just don't want that so just gonna blend that in it's really pretty so like a nice peachy pink color I kind of like to stipple it in with this airbrush flawless that definitely gives me more payoff than the super light pink I kind of have to go on a few times I'm just gonna add a little on this cheek it seems like it's a little I don't know if that's going to do anything, but I don't want to add too much. Before I apply any powder, I want to try this liquid highlighter. It's from Beauty Pie. It is their Triple Beauty Luminizing Wand. I actually did my first, very first Instagram paid ad, and I just it just went up today. It will, it will have been a couple days ago by the time you see this. So definitely check that out if you haven't. It's the same name at Erin's Beauty Obsession. But Beauty Pie was so much fun to work with. And they are like a Costco for beauty where you like pay a small fee and then you can shop their very affordable luxury beauty products. They just don't have like the branding markup. But they have amazing formulas and everything I've tried from them I loved. And this is the only thing I haven't tried because they sent me a couple packages and this is the most recent one. But it reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury highlight wand it comes with like the same packaging and then you can twist it on or off and then I swatch it and it looks just like gorgeous so I'm excited to I don't know if I want to apply it right to my cheeks but maybe for the sake of this video ooh that looks gorgeous and I, I didn't put it in my video because it was like a reel and I just didn't have time to include every product and I think I'm gonna do a full beauty pie review video uh, here on my YouTube channel just so I can talk through in more details with you guys what my favorites are um, what I've tested out because you just can't they've sent me a lot of product and I just can't talk to you about it in a one minute reel you can't you can't get my full thoughts uh, but that is, wow, absolutely gorgeous. It's not like, I thought it might be a little metallic at first, but no, that is really pretty. I'm going to set my face with a little bit of this Bite Beauty Change Maker Powder with a brush here. Just under my eyes and in my T-zone because it was a very glowy foundation that I used, spoiler alert. And I find that I don't think I need powder and then I'm out walking around a little while later and I'm like, okay. I look like a grease ball. But I really think my skin is looking gorgeous. This ain't so bad. I mean, my eyes don't look bad either. I'm just not as into, I'm just not as impressed with the eyeshadow palette as everything else. I'm going to apply a little powder bronzer. This is the Marc Jacobs Tantastic bronzer r.i.p mark jacobs beauty i don't really know what's going on all their stuff's been on sale and i heard that they're not going away that they're rebranding if that's true i'm not sure um i heard that they're rebranding but then i i was talking to a sephora worker and she said that they're not coming back to sephora so that's kind of sad or she doesn't think they are i'm gonna finish the eyes and just not get anything new in my brush and just buff under my eyes with like the transition shade and then use the darker shade brush and go really close to my lash line. This is what I always do. I rarely redip my brush for lower lash line because you only need a little bit of shadow and you just don't want to overdo it unless you're going for like a dramatic look. I'm going to curl my lashes and then we can try this grande lash mascara i don't believe i've ever tried this this is their original conditioning peptide mascara the things i love from grande beauty are like the cream the grande pop i think it's called liquid uh cream blush and highlight i used the blush in my shot my stash video a couple videos back and it is just a gorgeous blush formula 
and I know that a few people I follow really really love this mascara but I just uh, I just finished one and I don't like very many mascaras open at the same time so that's why oh no my nails are fresh and it has like a hold on I gotta open this and I think my camera is getting hot all right I'm back I did my hair while the camera was hopefully cooling I got this package open so I don't know this wand it's the kind of bristles I like but it's like super I usually like something fluffier like like bigger bristles so we'll see I know my friend Emily's makeup bag loves this mascara but I think I got one in BoxyCharm a while ago and I tried it, I think, but I can't remember what I thought. It's nice. It actually grabs the lashes way better than I thought and I thought just looking at the wand and how it looked that it would be really uh, clumpy. Like it just looks clumpy. But when you apply it, it kind of works really nice. And I didn't re curl my lashes and it's been a few minutes purely because I'm lazy. And I didn't feel like it. So my lashes probably aren't really curled anymore. So this is a true test. It's very buildable. Like it, it kind of grabs lashes and, and looks kind of like a that kind of fluffy lash. Like it reminds me of um, what you'd think, I know I used to like it, but like the full and soft, was it Maybelline full and soft? It kind of reminds me of that kind of look. Just like, it's very volumizing. Uh, and wow, it's a second coat, really builds it up. I hate spidery, chunky lashes. Not hate, but it's not my preference. I like a more fluffy, volumized lash, and that's definitely, definitely what this is. Wow. I can't believe it took me so long to try this mascara. I actually think I, for some reason, I have two in my drawer. I don't know if I got them for free gifts from Ulta, but my lashes look really long. Very impressed by that. I'm going to apply my favorite Makeup Forever Versatile Chestnut Liner. Just a little bit. The nice thing about these is they can just, like, kind of... And kind of buff them out okay so just so we have a little lip line there and then Urban Decay sent me the most generous package the first package I ever got from them it was very exciting but they repackaged all of their vice lipsticks which I don't think it's a new formula I've heard it both that it's not a new formula or it is um, but I love the old formula and I don't think it's different um, but they sent me like a couple of each shade of their shine matte and cream finish i've already tried the vice lipsticks and they are like some of my favorite lipsticks of all time but they also sent me a couple of their new uh it is called the pumping shine balm i pulled these two uh shades that i thought would go best with my look i have the shades name drop and my dude so i was actually describing this to one of my friends on instagram earlier and i tried it on um, I'm gonna wear the shade name drop just because it's a little bit more nude and these have the most delicious vanilla scent they apply gorgeously they have like a kind of thick paddle I wish the paddle would hold a little bit more product and was a little bit less flimsy because you definitely need to read it but it smells delicious it gives the most, I'm actually like, this is first impressions. I've tried this one. This, it's shiny, it's glossy, it gives just the right amount of pigment and coverage and fill to your lips, like, without being too much. Like, it's going to slide around. It's thick, it's nourishing. If you like a lips, a lip, uh, like the new liquid lip balm, lip oil trend which I definitely do these are really good there's my first impression and then to set my face I want to use this mineral air they sent me this cool like 
it's like skincare mist and then here's like a refill you like drop it into this little thing in here and then you can charge it I think and I set it up before this but look at this there's no fragrance it just comes out like that I'm just gonna mist our face I really can't feel much because it is so light but you feel this little thing back here it's a really light mist I don't know if I've used this for skincare or makeup but I thought it'd be fun to apply today but that's everything I had today to try for my full face kind of full face of first impressions sorry this is a little bit chaotic but sometimes you just gotta sit down throw on some makeup I needed to just get my thoughts on a few things and I thought I could just do it with you guys I think overall I got some big wins here I really loved the mascara the where did it go I am such a hot mess the grande mascara wow super impressed I know that's not a new product but it's new to me you'll have to watch my other video to see my thoughts on the foundation the eyeshadow palette was just the only one that was really just mm, okay for me the blush I already love the cheeky stamp blush formula it's gorgeous and I love the shade even more than the old one shade because it's brighter this wow can already tell that this is gonna be a favorite and this is totally I haven't tried the Charlotte I have the Charlotte Tilbury contour contour wand but I'd be curious to compare this with the highlight wand because it feels so luxurious and this is probably like $12 like a fraction of the cost of Charlotte Tilbury and then I'm really impressed by the pumping shine balm and I liked the mist too so if you guys like this first impressions make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to have more relatable beauty content and we'll see you in my next video bye